Want to know how to make this caramel and pretzel cheesecake? Keep watching. Hi guys, it's Kimberly Day here. And today I've got a super exciting video for you. I'm going to be using the new Kmart Family Pie Maker with two new products that have just come to Australia. So I'm going to be using caramel and also this new product, Philadelphia, and it's inspired by the Cadbury Caramilk Chocolate, which is delicious. So I'll put the recipe down in the description box below. Okay, so we're gonna add half a packet of these Marie biscuits from Arnott's, and we'll blend that up. Now I'm gonna add about 100 grams of salted pretzels. Okay, so you get it to a fine crumb. If there's too many chunks in it, it won't, it'll just fall apart. Okay, so just scrape it down off the sides. Okay, so you know when there's enough butter in there because you'll be able to squeeze it and it will stay in the shape. So that's what you want. You want it to be able to, it's supposed to be like wet sand. That's the consistency we're looking for, wet sand. Now don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, so first off, to make the filling, we're gonna use one tub of the Philadelphia inspired by Cadbury Caramel. Now I've got a third of a cup of the caster sugar and a dash of vanilla concentrate extract and one egg. Now beat that, beat that all together. Okay, so that's the filling done. Okay, so I've let my pie maker heat up for a couple minutes. So it's nice and warm. Now you don't need to put any spray or anything on there because there is already lots of butter in the base. So I'm just gonna put that on there and we spread it out and put a little bit up the sides. You need to do it fast because obviously the base is cooking underneath while you're putting this on here. So once you got that on there, that's done. Now you just come through with your filling straight over it. Just pour it all in. Now just get a knife and you're just spreading it around. Don't take it too close to the edges. Okay, now I set the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and check it. It'll take around 20 minutes, but I like to check it after 10. So let me know down below if you've tried either of these new products and whether you like them, whether you don't like them or what you're going to try making with them. Okay, so that's 10 minutes and that's it there. So obviously it's still not cooked. So I'm putting it on for another six minutes and then I'll check it again. Okay, so this is 16 minutes. You can see it's still not cooked, but if you use one of these little spike things, put it in and if you can see mixture on there, then you know it's not cooked. So I'd say we'll do another six minutes and I'll check it after that. Okay, so just put it in there and it comes out clean. Okay, so it's ready to come out. So what we need to do is flick it off at the wall and I'm actually going to flip the pie maker upside down because when you try and scoop it out, it doesn't work, trust me. I've tried this recipe about six times in the last few days and this is the best way to do it. But if you've got a better idea, let me know in the comments below because this is the only way I can figure out how to do it. So close the lid. So with this pie maker, it actually seals shut. So I just flip it up onto its bit there and then flip it straight over like that. And lift up the top bit, 
then I put the plate in like that and flip it over. It's come out and I've just put it in the fridge and chilled it. So what I'm going to do is melt some caramel in the microwave and drizzle that on top and then also sprinkle it with some salted pretzels to decorate. Okay, so I've melted some caramel in the microwave and I'm just going to drizzle it all over just to make it look a little bit prettier. Now don't worry about if you get any little burn bits like around the edges because it actually tastes like caramelized chocolate. So it's not, it actually is delicious when you get those bits. The, the crusty bits on the side are actually the nicest bits. But with this I'm going to chop it up into rectangles because I think it's going to look, look a lot more appetizing. Now it is very rich so you probably don't want to have pieces that are too big. Now all you do is get a nice plate and each piece will get another small little bit of caramel on there and a pretzel. I think putting the pretzel on top just really makes it. Now thanks for watching my video with the new Kmart family pie maker, the new caramel chocolate and the new Philadelphia cream cheese spread. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.